Hey everybody, Battlelon here, and uh, I'm here to show you how to set up your Switch Pro controller to work on Steam. Right here. See, I got one right here. So, I should probably prove to you, if like, first, that this actually works. So, let's switch to Steam. Okay, we're on Steam. I'm moving around using the controller. I'm going to go to the settings. Okay. Controller settings. See how it says Switch Pro controller at the bottom? It says that because I registered that on Steam. I did. Me. This guy. I did it. It works. So here's how. So anyways, here's the settings. And now I'm going to show you that I can play ukulele. Because it's the whole reason I did this. Play. So. Here you go. It works. See? Okay. It's going to load up. And then I'm going to cancel out of the game because it's going to lag the recording probably. Because I haven't set everything up yet for it. But see, it works. The plus button is start. Plus, start, good. Proof. Alright. So now that I've proven my point, now you see it's working. Um, I'm going to cancel out of here. Good night, Steam. Alright. So here's what you have to do. The first thing you need to do is to connect it. So you need to use it like a Bluetooth controller because that's what it is. It works using Bluetooth. So when you pair it, it's going to unpair from your Switch. So you'll have to repair it if you want to use it on the Switch. Anyways, point is, you got to do that. So to do that, you're going to go to the Bluetooth settings. So you can just hit the Windows key. And this is on Windows 8.1 for me. So I, th I think it'll work on Windows 8. I have no idea on Windows 10. I would assume it's probably easier, if not just as easy on 10 because Windows 10 is better at driver support for external devices that aren't Windows devices. Anyways, so what you'll see is Pro Controller. It'll know it's a Pro Controller. It just knows that it's what it's called. I guess that's what they called it on the Bluetooth settings for the Switch Pro Controller. Anyways, so it'll pair. It'll say pair. You just press or click pair, and there you go. It'll pair. And here's where I was running into problems. So I got into bunch of stuff online and was trying to figure out how to make it work and I couldn't and there were a bunch of people that were saying all this stuff works just kidding it doesn't just kidding it does just kidding it doesn't and you can find all these places online for different games people trying to get it to work and I was just like it's gotta be a way because this controller is modern it should work and I remembered something once upon a time I had a problem getting my Mayflash GameCube controller adapter set up so I could play stuff on Steam I set it up because I wanted to play around on Undertale before I realized it was better to use a keyboard. But the point is, it works. So, I figured maybe it'll work the same way as then. And I did some research, found out that it's a direct input or X input, whichever one is the older one is what Nintendo's controller is, I guess. So, you need to switch it, which means I think it's direct input to X input is what you're doing. So anyways, you need a program called X360C. C, sorry. Um, so you just go to their website, so I'll even search for it right now, X360CE, and um, on a 64-bit operating system, so you just go there, you go to download for 30 or for 64-bit games, and there you go. It's that easy. Um, with that said, you need to be careful, because one of the first mistakes people make is when you go to your downloads, or wherever folder you downloaded to, they'll be like, aha, application, it says it here, and you'll use this. No, don't do that, because that is going to make a temporary location, because you're opening up a zip file, and you want to open up the actual application. So you need to extract it to its own folder. All the stuff will be there, and you're not going to have this. That's the reason why you have to set it up this way. You have to extract it to its own folder, because the application makes a driver file for the controller scheme and saves it. So, anyways, um, it'll remap controllers for you. So, that's what this program does. So, as you can see, it's reading stuff for the controller, which is neat. All the buttons in the world. See? Okay. So, here's what I did. I set that up, and then I went to uh, Game Settings. And I added Steam.exe. Maybe that matters, maybe it doesn't. But it works for me. So, I did this. I just added 
chose Steam. I don't know if that matters at all, but <laughs> I did it, and it's working. So I guess it's better to have and not need than need and not have. So you can do that. So anyways, you map it out, and uh, this actually figured out what buttons were which, and it mapped out the buttons properly, which is nice. Um, it switched A and B, so if you want to switch A and B, you can. Anyways, so I did that, and then I was able to go to big picture mode and get that working. So, go to big picture mode. I haven't tried it outside of big picture mode, but I know it works here. So anyways, I was able to move around here by default, but I couldn't get it to do the left and uh, right sticks. I was able to do the clicks, but I couldn't do the directions, and I think setting it up in X360 fixed that. So anyways, you end up going to settings, you go to the controller settings, and I turned on Xbox configuration support, and that did like all the wonders in the world for me. Um, you have to have generic gamepad configuration support on, supposedly, but that's what I did. And then if you go here, you can set up that. So I actually customized the controls as I wanted to here. Um, and I, I, re I registered it to my account so I could go get that later if I wanted to. But what's going to happen is you're going to go to it and it's just going to have a name and you have to define it. And um, it, it works pretty easily, honestly. You just hit the buttons that come up on the screen. Um, whoop. Anyways, so as long as it's set up and you get X360 working, it'll work. Um, you just, I think you have to do that to solve the problem where it won't finish registering the controls. Um, so yeah, that's really it. I honestly think that's really it for me. Um, with that said, I don't think there's really a whole lot to do aside from that. I think the key is setting up X360. So I don't know if I did things that are unnecessary, but that's what worked for me. Hopefully it works for you. If you have questions, let me know in the comments below. And thanks for watching.